Hey, welcome, this is Kevin Bees, and we are on to tip number 28. And since we had such a great session yesterday on goal setting, I wanted to follow up with uh, part two of goal setting. I think there are really three important things in setting goals, okay? It's the what, the why, and the how. Now, I'll go through all three of those uh, today, or maybe even tomorrow, may, maybe in six, three days, I'll see how it goes as I start talking, but the the key message around goal setting, there's a powerful part of our brain. Uh, you may have heard of it before, the reticular activation system. And it's, it's once we get something in our mind, once we get an intention in our mind, we can start to see things show up in the environment. Now, the common example around something like this is if you ever buy a new car. If you say you just went out and bought a red Mini, when you start driving around, what do you see everywhere on the road? Uh, the roads are filled with red minis. So you're probably familiar with this example. Now, the same thing is true with our goals. Once we set a clear intention in our mind, we can start to see uh, things in the environment that are going to help us uh, to achieve our goals and to get there to the outcome. So this is the key reason why we set goals. Uh, the other key reason I, I personally think is why we set goals is because it gives us the opportunity to develop and grow. I don't often think it's about that end thing, the result that you get, the extra money or the relationship. I think it's who you become on the journey to accomplishing that goal. So setting that goal, and as we said yesterday, it needs to be enough of a stretch that you feel motivated to go and do it, but not too much of a stretch that you feel overwhelmed and not too small that you can't really be bothered. So the key key piece then with the, the what, the what are we going to create? What is the, What are we going to create? What is the goal? Is uh, number one, let's get really clear on what we want and what we want to go towards. Uh, too many people that I meet along the journey uh, in setting their business goals are very clear on what they don't want, the thing that they want to get away from, right? They don't want to be in this career anymore. They want to be an entrepreneur, right? They, so they don't want to be in the career. Now, if they set that goal, I don't want to be in this career anymore, what's their brain focused on? Being in the career or, or not wanting to be in the career. The brain doesn't have a clear direction to know where to go. It doesn't have a clear direction to look for things in the environment to help it get there. So we have to set things to go towards what we want, not away from what we don't want. A few more business examples of this. Um, I've heard clients to say that they don't want to be working so many hours or they don't want to have such little cash flow. That, that's a good intention, but even better if they said, hey, by the end of this year, I want to be uh, doing X number of hours, so a specific number of hours, and I want to be earning X amount of dollars. So positively going towards what they want and specific, the specificity in this is super powerful because then your brain has something that it can see and focus on and measure towards. So frame it positively and ideally frame it present tense. Now, what do I mean by this? I want you or I want to encourage you that when you set your goals to frame it like you already have it, okay? Not I will make a $100,000 this year or I will make a million dollars this year. It's like, in 2019, I have made a million dollars or I have made a hundred thousand dollars or whatever your number is, or uh, I consistently worked X number of hours. So it's more like you have it. Now your brain, it's important for your brain to see and have that visualization that you already have it. Because the more you read that goal, the more you check in with that goal, the more your brain is going to recognize, well, this is me, this is my life. And the more you tell yourself this idea over and over again, I will, uh, not I will, I have, right? I have. So in the present tense, it makes your brain feel like, more like hey, I've got to have that. Like, this is my reality. Um, the third thing I want to share with this, this and on the what, when you set your goals, is using emotive language. Right? What is the emotion that you're going to feel when you achieve this goal? I've met too many people along the way who, uh, they're going towards their goal and they get this new thing, this thing they never thought they would have, the new revenue, the new car, the new house. And then they get there and they're like, is this all it is? which is why it's so important for us to define right now when we're setting the goal, what is the emotion that we're going to have? What's the experience that we're going to have? We don't want to get to this goal and then be like, now what? And then on to the next thing, the next thing. I want you to define what is that emotion for you? So if it's that you're going to, maybe I'm talking in business examples here, but may, maybe it's a weight loss or a weight target. Maybe you are going to uh, get yourself to 80 kilos with X percent body fat, right? Or 100 kilos with X percent body fat, whatever your weight is. And you should then say, and I feel. How are you going to feel when you accomplish that? I'm going to feel energized. I'm going to feel motivated. I'm going to feel enthusiastic. That's something your brain can get excited about. So if you have a revenue goal in your business or you have a number of hours goal in your business, how are you going to feel? 
right? So if you're doing less hours, then maybe you are going to have more energy or maybe you're going to feel excited because you get more time with your family or maybe you're going to, um, uh, yeah, well, whatever it is for you, what else would you feel when you, uh, you, you work less hours? Maybe you feel more relaxed. Uh, maybe you'll feel more motivated because you've got more, more energy or time to devote to like, your hobbies or something exciting. And if it's like a financial goal, how are you going to feel when you hit that financial number? Say, when I hit X dollars per year or X dollars per month, I'm going to feel like this. So key, th key things in. Frame it positively. What is the intention that you want, not what you don't want? Frame it in the present tense like you already have it, so your brain can see like you already have it. Um, and use emotive language. And the more specific you can be, the easier it's going to be for you to see whether you get in there or, or, or not. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, oops, we dropped. And the first time someone shared this with me about goal setting, I was a little bit skeptical on the whole topic. Uh, I was at a personal development event and they said, set yourself goals and be specific in setting your goals is amazing. Once you set goals, you'll be amazed at what shows up for you. And I wasn't so sure about this, but I was there, I was game, I, I was going. And so at the time, my biggest goal was to have a relationship. I'd been single for four, maybe five years, and I was ready for a relationship. And so I was writing down this goal that I, you know, who was this woman I was going to attract? I was being really, spe really specific, her hair color, her height, her age, uh, her values, like she was into health and fitness. And I carried on, I wrote something like 28, there was 28 different things. And as I'm writing it, my phone beeps, but I ignore it, I keep writing, I finish the task. And so I'd set this intention of what I wanted. And then I pick up my phone and I look what the message was. And it was my very good friend, Suze. Now, Suze I'd known for maybe seven or eight years by this point. She'd never set me up with anyone for a date. And then her message said, I just met this girl, I think she'd be amazing for you. And I thought it was a bit weird that it was goal setting and that was my topic and this message comes through at that time. So I'm like, all right, let's meet. Now, the cool thing was I, uh, I met that lady and then we connected and she subsequently became my wife. Now it was interesting, six months into that relationship, we found the goal set or the, the things that I'd set in my goals, you know, what were the specific things I wanted and she ticked off all of those 28 items, everything I put down there, she was. Right, so I said, it's a really clear intention. And within, like, for me, fortunately, within seconds, she, she, like, she'd arrived before I'd even finished the list that she was there. So uh, I think when you put that thought or that energy out there, I think things show up to help you and support you. Now, I joke with my wife now and I say, damn, why, why didn't I write there that you had a Ferrari as well? Right, so uh, just be really specific of what you want. And it's amazing how quickly things will show up for you or how quickly you start noticing the other examples. Let me share a business example with you. Uh, I was talking about this with a client uh, just this week and she was explaining how she didn't want this type of client anymore. Her marketing was attracting her, the type of client that was absorbing too much energy, not spending enough funds with her, you know, and it just, it wasn't the kind of client that she wants to keep working with. And so I asked her the question, well, if that's not what you, that's what you don't want, what do you want? And she explained that she wanted maybe more of a professional, someone had more idea what they wanted, that they were decision makers. And she was very clear on the specific things that she wanted. And I get a message from her the very next day saying, wow, it's amazing. This type of client started showing up. I've already had two types of these show up today. Now, maybe those clients were always going to come in. Maybe they're always going to come along. Or maybe they were already coming to her, uh, her environment and she wasn't noticing. Or maybe just because she set this intention that they're showing up now. And she's going to start putting herself in more environments where, the, where she can be surrounded by these people, the professional people she wants, and not, not the other ones. So... Key piece, set your goal, get really clear on the outcome that you want, frame it positively, frame it in a present tense, frame it with emotive language, be specific. And the final piece in that is once you set these goals, uh, have, have the intention that there's opportunity around you and you're going to start seeing things in your environment that's going to support you to get there. Uh, do that. I will be back tomorrow then. That's, that's the what. That's how to set what you want with your goals. And I'll be back tomorrow and we can talk about why it's important to have a why behind your goals and why it's important to clearly define your how and how to do that. All right, that's been absolutely great. Really enjoyed talking with you today. I will catch you tomorrow for episode number 29.